Hello everyone, today I got a battle report for you. It is Ogre Kingdoms versus the Beast Herds. Uh, I will be playing the Beast Herds. Uh, my opponent is playing um, the Ogre Kingdom. Now, a funny story about this is this is probably like the 20th time I've tried to record this game. So, it's the curse of the tournament. Uh, <laughs> so, um, this is based on a tournament I played earlier this year. It was played on, um, I think it's called New Year New Rules. Um, and I, I had this plan of recording all five games. And just every game was comical. Like either my opponents couldn't meet or I, f I forgot to record or I got COVID in one game. Like the day before the game, I still like idiotically played the game and I couldn't remember a thing about the game. So anyhow, this is the only game that I have any notes, have any memory and was actually able to play. So uh, with that said, uh, let's get started. Let me show you the list right now. So this is a, uh, bring it up real quick, one second. And here we go. So if on the left side, it is the Beast Herds and on the right side is the Ogre Kingdom. Um, I, we both have a very similar list, right? So the pre-thought of this game, I had this matched as a green for me, uh, but the truth be said, I felt it either I was going to get 20, you know, or like 17, 20, or my opponent was going to get 17, 20. We had a very similar list, even though it's different armies, um, very fast, uh, very mobile, um, MSU units, and a lot of impact hits. So his army is going to be very reliant on him, impact hits and, and you know, f f fleeing, meaning that if I charge, he's going to be able to flee. He's going to have enough units to do multiple fleas and then counter. And so um, he, I don't have a lot of shaft here. That's the one thing I realized about my army here. I don't have a lot of shaft to actually you know, block in case I have a failed charge. So um, I, I saw what, what I realized then is, you know, I have to um, be, I don't really have to engage him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I think I could beat him in hand-to-hand -hand combat or, or just shooting because I outshoot him. Uh, and I outmaneuver him. I'm a little bit faster, a little bit more agile. So that's kind of the game plan here. Okay. And you know what they all say about the game plans? Uh, they're all great until you start the first dice roll. And so with that said, um, this is what we have right here. Um, my opponent, um, you know, I, the thought here is I wanted to go second. I wanted to be able to recover. Um, I didn't really feel like I had to get into his deployment. I knew he had to get into my deployment first. And so that was going to allow me to to move around him and, and adjust and react and shoot. So that's kind of the strategy. So I let him um, deploy first and he chose to drop. And so this is where we're at. This is after scouts right before Vanguard. So the Vanguard went like this because he dropped first. He chose to Vanguard first and he moves his uh, unit with his general and pushes up. So uh, this scout was actually a little bit farther up. Uh, and then he forced me to deploy my scouts right here in my deployment zone. Um, the idea is I always find that my chariots get charged or the, yeah. Uh, and so the, half of the time they don't have anything to do with the game because they're charged. So the idea is I'm going to protect them in, in a charge. I'll be able to drive these guys up in front of my chariots. And then, um, and if they charge or f they, I'll be able to flee and then do a counter charge. That's kind of the thought there. And so with that said, I had my hero within leadership position, and I I put my BSB here, and I'll talk a little bit more about that concept at the end of the game. Um, okay, so I counter by pushing up over here. He counters by coming up over here and, and making sure that I can't see him. Uh, and then I counter by uh, moving over here making sure that I'm out of range of his you know a hero and he counters by pushing these guys up forward um, and then this is uh, then I go ahead and push up and this is kind of um, where I started deviating from my my game plan and I realized this it's one of those things where you know sometimes because um, you you can make a move doesn't mean that's the best choice and I didn't really want to push up in the middle I wanted to kind of surround him and get around him and get behind him and then lower and harass his flanks while I control the center because I do feel like I have a stronger center than he my opponent does and I push up here thinking that I was smart 
with behind the fence and you'll see what happens and what plays out after that okay so with that said we are in turn one my opponent goes first and lo and behold he declares a charge here oh man i didn't even see that i didn't think that was i didn't, I didn't even see that and again this is where i pushed up and i gave him an opportunity unnecessarily now i got no vantage for it from being here now i can't flee because if i flee i um i'm going to tell you right now traditionally i roll very high for fleas very high for failed leadership tests and i tend to always pass my panic test my my um primal test so it, it's no different in this game and you'll see how it play, play pans out as well so my fear is that i'm going to run hit this unit and, and run off the tabletop and that's a very devastating loss at the very first so i'm going to have to gamble it's a nine inch charge um, he needs to roll a nine to make the charge uh with with swift stride that's a gamble i think that's a uh 40 percent chance of him getting that off and um it's a gamble that i need to take over here he charges his giant and uh and i hold as well i stand and shoot and that's it for his charges and and then for his movement so you we i get lucky he only rolls one so that's a partial luck I wish I would. I wish he would have rolled a little bit more, but he doesn't. He only rolls a, a one on this fail charge, but still, I'll take it. Over here, he fails again. Rolls a little bit more, but he's okay. Um, and then that's it for his movement. Uh, I mean, for his charges. And then for his movement, I'm gonna duplicate this guy over here. He reforms these guys. Doesn't move. Then he does something here that I find quite interesting he breaks his he, he shafts my centaurs here and he moves um his hero there now he wants to be out of my arc so he actually uh, so i was a little bit there there you go so he moves right here um he moves this guy up here And uh, he moves this guy here. And then he moves this guy here. This guy, he moves up pretty far up here. And then this guy just blocks. He comes over here, sets himself up for a, a flank charge over here. And then just stays right here hidden. Um... All right. So that's it for his failed charges. And um and then it goes with, then we move on to magic. And then here is my second mistake. I, um he casts hand of heaven into my uh into my wizard. And that's when I realized, damn it. All along I I plan to put him into my unit of, of raiding chariots. He always gets picked off. And then somewhere along the, the game, I just realized that I have strategically put myself out of his um, his mammoth hunters that have the spears. And so, um, and I completely forget about magic. And so with that said, I'm, I'm worried about some other spells that he, that he has. And I look at this and I'm like, oh, the average of him rolling. Now, here's one part. Is, uh, there was a kind of a language barrier and I never heard it, whether he, he always rolled and I couldn't tell if he was um, enhancing the spell or not. And I would, and so, uh, I, and so I don't know if I just couldn't hear him um, or, but anyhow, I wasn't aware that he, he did the higher one, but that's still my fault. And so, uh, but I, I do the math uh, and on average, he's going to roll a four, a strength of four or five. And then he's going to only do like about three to four um, dice rolls, uh, wounds, I mean. So I should be okay. Uh, he's not going to die. And then I'll be able to move him into the, the chariots and, and save him from that point, right? And then be able to heal later on. I should not heal. I don't have, I have evocation here. Uh, so I let it go through. I'm worried about some other spells. And... Um, 
Let me see. I think his other magic spells. Um, yeah, I forget what it is. Anyhow, he rolls uh, for his damage. He only rolls a strength. He rolls a one. So he gets a strength too. And I'm like, wow, I am lucky. That just means now that he, um, you know, then he rolls actually, then he rolls five for his number of wounds. So I'm thinking, okay, he's going to, he has a strength two, and he only costs five hits on me. So he's going to have to roll four sixes for me to die. I'm, I'm good, right? He rolls five, five sixes. I should four sixes. Oh my gosh. I hate UB so much. It's dice rolls are crazy. And just like that, uh, my wizard's out of the game. And and the funny story is I him and hard for, you know, I did some analysis of the game. There was days that I was agonizing what spell or I should take, what I should take, uh, you know, was it, um, what I should take, um, spectral blades and ancestral aid or whether i should take a haste in the hour and some of the snipe spells and i him and hod and I even asked my teammates for a, a, a suggestions and then lo and behold turn one without a single dice roll on my behalf he's dead and then he because he boosted it it's a it's a plus it's a three ap and i only have three arm uh, you know i save on a four plus so i don't have an armor save against him either um, and so now it causes a panic test. I have my leader sh here and I, I fail my panic test for my heroes unit and I fail a panic test for my um, ra ra raiders. The, the raiding chariots save. Now because I'm within the BSB range, I get a reroll and I just barely make it. And this is my biggest problem with the BSB um, is I just fail leadership tests all the time. And I've lost games literally by 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 rolling like mass multiple failed leaderships even with the BSV. Uh, so, but I get lucky here. Uh, so then here these guys flee off the table and we're like this. So now now actually that's a little bit to my advantage, and I'm hoping to take advantage on the next one. Okay, over here um, he shoots at my at my cyclops and does three wounds with his uh, mammoth hunter. Here. Um, and then he's shooting. Oh, this guy's are gone. He's shooting over here. He doesn't do any. He he doesn't do any damage as well. He misses. Uh, on the two plus, he misses. I I get lucky. So dice roll low for my opponent. The dice roll is everywhere. He's either rolling really bad or really good. Now for me, unfortunately, I'm rolling dead average, and a little bit below average. And you'll see as as the game progresses. All right, so here we are at, and then now it's the end of his turn, and now it's my my turn one. And uh, you know, I him and hawed about the strategy of what to do with my my unit here. I, I hate saber tusks. I think they're so underrated. They're so cheap for for their speed, their versatility. I think eighty points is a steal for what for them having two wounds, two attacks. And light troops, so they just are pain, and so um, and so I'm afraid that if you know, I, I need to get rid of these guys because they're just gonna they're gonna sh you know shaft me up the whole entire game. Um, but my fear is if I put my my general in, I'm not gonna break him, and now I have two charges that from here and here. Um, so and and not only that, when I overrun, I won't be able to overrun here. So the thought was. I, I, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw, you know, charge here. If he flees, then I redirect here. Uh, and if he doesn't, then hopefully I'll, I'll be able to run into him or him. I need. It's, um, it, it's hard to see the placement here, but I need, um, I need a ten to get into any of these guys. Um, actually, yeah, the, these guys were up a little bit higher. So he placed these guys out so I won't run into them. So I need a 10 to hit these guys. And I think, you know, it's it's a gamble. Um, and in hindsight, though, that was a mistake. Um, actually, no, I couldn't get out of his arc range. And for some reason, I don't know why I even cared about he here. I should have just really moved here and shot at these guys and not worried about getting charged. But I, I don't. I charge here. 
Uh, so that is a mistake. Uh, you know. So let me see what happens. Okay, so then um, that's that's it for my charges. For my movement, I move these guys up here. And um, yes, and I think, uh, yeah. So I just move him right out of visibility. Um, and then these, oh, never mind. I did, there was another charge. I charge in here. Um, you know, I, I should. I'm afraid of these. Uh, um, oh yeah, no, I charged over here. The idea is that I overrun that way. So uh, I charge here. I charge here. Did I? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, just charge here. I'm hoping that I'll, I'll hold him. I'm hoping that if I don't overrun, then I'll be able to redirect and come over here. Okay. These guys, I flee. I come back over here, make sure that I'm not in range of, of the visibility of these guys here. Um, all right. So then that's it for charges. And then for shooting, um, actually, yeah. Actually, I go over here like this. And... Um, and I have just just barely visibility. Uh, I think it's something like this. I just have visibility to see his hero with my uh, my general. Now this general here has a Hawthorne curse. It's kind of like a bolt thrower. Um, and then for shooting, these these guys, the Cyclops, both roll a one. Oh my gosh, this game is so frustrating. What's the odds of two Cyclops rolling the one? I don't know. Uh, with UB2, the probability is super high. So, but I get lucky that all they do is, is um, roll. I roll, I think, a, f a five or six on the miss fire chart. So they just don't fire for this turn. Uh, for my, for my um, hero, I'm actually do, do well. I actually do um, a hit. I'm hitting on threes, and I do a, a max of D3 wounds. Sweet, yes. So he's only one wound left, and he's dead. And I got through his armor because he, he only has the uh, just a basic armor save. This guy has the ward save on him. Okay, so uh, combat, I blow these guys out of the water. Um, they actually flee, but um, I, I kill them to, to, the, to one guy left. Uh, but they pretty much just run off the table and they they don't make an impact. So I'm going to take them off the tabletop. Um, over here, the ch I make the charge. He holds. And uh, so I do the math, right? Uh, now, I, I'm not a fan of the chariots simply because I always roll a one on impact hits. And knowing that I'm only going to get two impact hits or you know two chariots into the impact hits, I'm thinking I'm going to get like three hits. And I get the a little bit above statistical average. I end up doing 11 hits. Uh, and so if you do the math, let me see. I have strength 5. He has a toughness of 5. So I'm expecting that I'll get um, 6 wounds in. and Or 6 or six or 5. So it's enough to kill him. But he has a 4 plus ward save. So he's going to get his... Um, he's going to get his 6 plus armor save. And then he's going to get a 4 plus armor save. So... I'll, the odds are most likely I'm going to get two wins in, uh, but at least I'll win combat, right? I get four wounds, and he fails all four. <laughs> just like that, this game is so topsy turvy. Just like that, I'm in the game again. So I turn around and I pivot this way because what I want is is in case they flee, I want to counter charge my my my, um, my chariots into his giant. Or into his uh, unit right here. Um, all right, so that's where we're at. Um, I, uh, magic. I I throw. Um, uh, is it? 
Let it hold turn him. He dispels he dispels the um you know, he he dispels kinda of, I really want the black wing off and he dispels it. And this is a frustrating thing I have about uh Beast Herd magic is that um people there's a few spells that are pretty good on the on the bound spells, but because we can only cast um it twice uh, people hold off and it's also a four plus instead of the five plus um so people you know without a magic user to threaten other magic um it's real easy for my opponents to dispel the one that w they're worried about so in the very least at least i get um one spell off And that is it for shoot for shooting. Uh, his his turn. He declares a charge here. It's an it, he needs an uh, an eleven. It's doable. Um, and he realizes that he can't take another hit. Uh, he's worried about this guy, so he charges here, and then he charges here, and I I realize, damn it, I screwed up again. Um. And now I position myself to the point where if I flee, I'm going to flee off the tabletop. And not only that, I realize that I allow an overrun, a potential overrun, into my Cyclops. <sighs> this is the things that kill me here. Uh, little mistakes here and there. Um, he declares a charge over here and here. And I hold because what's going to happen is if I flee, he's, he's going to be able to, to charge and cause me to flee off the table. Uh, so I, I have to hold. Not only that, if I flee, he's gonna have that charge to my side. And now I have a fleeing unit and the potential um, uh, flank charge over here. And now I'm, now I'm closer, so now it's a seven, plus, a seven on, the, on the swift stride, so he's gonna make it. Um, I get lucky again. He fails charge here, uh, but he but he makes his other two charges. So he makes it here. And he positions himself right. Uh, right here. And he charges here. Caddy corners it. Let's see. Caddy corners it right here. Just a smart play on my opponent's side. Um, I mean, I know what he's going to do. Uh, and this is actually misplaced. I probably was up here. Like this, yeah, because he gets a front charge. Okay, um, for his movement, he moves this over here. Uh, again, another smart move that my opponent does. I'm not, I don't know if this is legal or not, but he puts himself right here on the corner, so he makes it so I can't see him because he's on the back of the hill. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I think he's right because I, I looked up the rule. If you're on the back of the hill, you can't get seen. But he's touching the hill so he could see me, but I can't see him. Um, and I think also, yeah, no, that's that's how he played it. Because I definitely had a counter charge if, if it was in range. So for me, I want to be able to charge him without him. He's the only one that can't flee. Um, so I, I don't have a problem. If I go drunk, I did the math. And I'll be able to take him out um, with the hero inside the unit. He shoves this guy up over here like this and then he moves this guy up and now he moves these guys up a little bit here um, and you know, we're playing um, Spoils of War so the tokens are missing but there's a token right here and there's a token right here so that's the reason so he's trying to collect the token here and and he, later on he'll try to collect the token over here um, charges he comes in here and here um, it's and his movement he pushes up over here and he inches forward here Turns around here. Okay. Um, and for combat, 
uh, for magic, he cast his um. His magic is just so good uh, compared to to um, to me. He puts the breath attack on his hero, and he does smite the unbeliever on my unit here. Um, I'm, I'm able to stop his um, his children of Un Umi, which is the one I'm worried about. Um, but he still gets off these two magic. To I just can't roll to save to dispel. He's just getting off magic left and right on me. All right, so. Combat over here. He does this one first. I flee off the table. Um, I, I I lose by um, but I lose by one, and even with my general here, I still flee. Um, and so he comes over here. He makes it in here, and yeah, more like this. Okay. So combat. He he strikes all his his attacks on me. He gets me down to to five wounds. I got one wound left. I put all of my attacks into his hero. I'm thinking out. I'm thinking I'm gonna lose this combat. Uh, so I, I I need to put all of my attacks into his um, into his hero before I die. Um, yeah, and I whiff it. I don't I don't do a single wound. Ah, uh, this guy's so frustrating. Okay, so um, that was his turn two. On my turn two, I, oh, actually, I break here, and I flee. I flee far. Um, yeah, he he pursues with both. He ends up here, and he ends up he here. Um, yeah, and then th these guys are actually really depleted at this point. Um, I had actually gone six wide. Uh, let me see if I can and these guys are all dead. His his uh, his hero is pretty pretty tough. He's pretty tough. Um, I'm actually down to. Um, Oops, I'm actually down to only one rank, like this. Um, Okay, um, charges. Yeah, I don't, I don't declare any charge. Uh, so I move over here. I get behind his, his hero here. This guy moves over here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, his turn to... I forgot. His, um, these Kinnanis come out. And I'll tell you, I hate these kidney eaters. They are super good uh, for their cost. The fact that they're unbreakable, that, that res 5. Even, they, they don't really do a lot of damage, but they they do a great job of, of shafting units and even locking a unit down because they're unbreakable. Uh, okay, so I move over here. Yeah, like that. And this guy, he, he had moved these back a little bit like this. He's he's trying to block me in. Okay. Um, I rally. Oops. I rally these guys. Yeah, okay. So for shooting, um,
uh, I do uh, actually these guys were up a little bit farther up they were like this yeah there you go and um, for shooting I, I kill uh, I kill one and because he had a hero there the, I don't cause a panic check which is unfortunate um, Uh, for shooting, I end up uh, shooting into this unit here. Wipe him out. They're just like that. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, over here, um, shooting goes over into um, No, these guys uh, came over here. Yeah, like that. On that previous turn. Uh, they, were, they were trying to shaft me from turning, uh, from charging his arrow. Um, okay, so they're, they're like this. Um, yeah. And these guys were up a little bit higher like that. Yep, yep, that was it, yep. And they were looking like this. And, okay, yeah. Okay, so... Um, for my shooting, then I finally connect. Shoot here, and I hit. Do two wounds, cause a panic. <laughs> and he flees. And he flees right through... Uh, he flees right through his uh, his heroes. I think he flees in this angle like this. Yeah, and, and he pops out way out here. So he, I'm like, oh yes, they're out of the game. Uh, he flees this way, oh, uh, away. So he's over here as well. Um, actually, no, they don't. They don't flee. Uh, they, they're just over here. They're looking away. So now I got this guy fleeing and uh, this guy looking away. Um, I rally here. Uh, shot over here. No panic test because uh, of the Yetis. These guys, I think, make their leadership test. All right. So um, in combat over here. Um, he, he, he goes at it. These guys have great weapons. So he goes and fails he doesn't do a single wound and then i put all of my attacks into his uh into his uh, man eater and i kill him <laughs> nice uh, unfortunately he puts a whole bunch of attacks and uh, i'm not able to save so we're, we we trade we trade one unit for another unit um oh yeah and and in his turn on the previous round he actually um changed his formation uh, like this. Okay. So with that, he turns around and is getting ready to to put pressure on the center. Um. Yeah. So that's it for my and for my magic. I cast um, blood tor blooded horn torn him. I try to actually get again. Um, Blackwing, he blocks it. Uh, so I try to get Gnarl Hide because I want the plus one uh, armor and distracting, he, he, he blocks it. So I'm only able to get uh, Blooded Horn turn him off. And he's okay with that. Um, and so I know what's coming up next. He's going to actually charge on me. And so um, sure enough, he does that. Uh, his turn three, he charges. I have to hold because I'm going to flee off the tabletop if I don't. And so... Oh, 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 I forgot. Uh, sorry. On my turn, two. 
these guys came out. They all come out. Um, unfortunately, I don't want them all to come out right away, but they do come out right away. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of what happens here. So the shooting was pretty uneventful over here. I actually do a good amount of wounds over here. Uh, I come out here like this, and I do, um, I kill like, I kill four. So that's a good ring, good amount of shooting just for these guys. Um, and then my wild horn comes out this way. Um, yep. Okay, so let me see. Let me, let me get this cleared up a little bit. Now, um, he gets, yeah, he gets his charges in. He does, and he can't do anything over here. Uh, he doesn't want to charge here because I'll win. And so he just kind of stays there and he can't really turn um, because I, I get really close to him. Uh, so I, I guess he could pivot. But that's not what he does. He just kind of stays there for some reason. Over here, he turns around. Um, looking at me this way. This guy moves this way to get out of my charge range. Or, yeah, charge arc. Uh, this guy moves over here like this. Try to get in front of my... Yeah, try to shaft me. Like that, yep. Yeah. So I can't charge his... Uh, his his general, I mean his uh giant. Um. Yeah, we're like this, and then um, these guys uh, actually these guys did flee on the panic, so they rallied both of them, and they're like this. Um, oh, for his turn, he turns around like this because he's get he knows that the char the charge is coming. Which is unfortunate that these guys rally because now I can't charge him and force him to flee. Now I have to, you know, uh, now I have to charge the, 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 the certain the threat. And I think he's over here, actually. Like that, yeah. Okay. Um, so on combat over here, he breaks me. I flee off the table. Like I said, just I needed, I needed a 10 to stay on. I roll a 12. I'm off the tabletop. He chose to 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 overrun um and uh again he casts the smite the unbeliever and this time he does get uh the children of umi off uh and so uh i don't I, I don't focus my shots on him i focus all my wounds on him uh so i get him down to i want to say four wounds so he got four left um, and then that's it for my magic because I, I don't no longer have a magic user. Okay, so on my turn three, uh, I do no damage here. So I, I realize um, his next turn is going to he's, he's setting himself up for counter charges. So I think I think that I could beat him here. Right. If you do the math, I got um, 15 attacks going into him. Um, I have pairing weapons, so I'm hitting an offense of a five. He has a toughness of four, so I'm, I'm hitting him on threes with the reroll, and then I'm wounding him on fives. I should, and then I have two two ranks and a standard, so I'll be up by three. I should do more damage than him, uh, and I should be able to break him. Um, and then I'm gonna have the charge right. So I think this is a good a good bet um, over here. I declare a charge into his, his hero. I'm hoping he sticks, but he doesn't. He's smart, and he flees. Um, and so he flees, and, and so I think it's a great... I'm in a good spot. <clears throat> I was over here like this. I'm in a good spot. Um, I got a flank charge here. I got a flank charge here. And if he doesn't, and then if he chooses to flee, he needs a 10 to get out of my arc range. So if he flees, I can make, I could declare a charge here, force him to flee, and then, and then, and then really open up the middle. So I'm, I'm in a good spot. This is a very good, if he stays here, I, I charge. But, uh, and get him out of the way. If he, actually, I don't even need to. I, I know that these guys could do enough wounds 
Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to say he's actually down to one wound. So so on the previous combat, I just focused on him because I um, with the combat over here and here, I got him down to one wound. Uh, one wound left. So I know that I could get at least one wound here. I'm going to get his flank, so I'm going to get most of my my attacks in. I'm fairly confident I'll win that one. I might lose the combat, but he'll definitely die. Um, so I, I, you know, I might support him, or I might charge your flank here, or I might just get the general, the here, the the um, the giant, right? <clears throat> And so he re flees. He rolls 10. <sighs> Damn it. Just barely out of my arc range. Oh, God. This game is so frustrating. The dice on my opponent is either hot or not. And they're rolling to his, you know. Can't argue. It's all over the place. He's, he's failed every single charge that wasn't right there. Uh, and so, I don't know. And then I come over here. And I charge over. I, I redirect over here. He has throwing weapons here. He's he and he stands the shoots, and I'm okay because what he has what 10, 10 guys shooting twenty shots. So he's hitting me on sixes, and then he's strength three versus my four. So he's winning me on fives, right? So essentially, he's he's gonna he's gonna maybe hit two to three times and wound me and not get a wound, right? At most, a one or two wounds. A famous last words. He ends up doing five wounds. He does five wounds on my Longhorns. And I'm like, no problem. I got the banner of discipline on these guys. Uh, it's going to be a leadership of eight on a reroll. I fail. Fuck, I hate this game so much. God damn it. So anyhow, he, <laughs> I'm laughing and I'm crying at the same time. That forces me now to charge over here. He can't stand and shoot. It's super close. I'm in. Um, and then, in my wisdom, I choose not to charge. I choose not to charge. If I charge here... Uh, yeah, I, d I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't charge. What I end up doing is I want to get rid of this guy. I got one wound left. And I'm going to put all my shots into him. I got my my character that's hitting on fours. Wounding on and strength five. So I'm hitting him on fours. Wounding him on fives. And I, that's it. And I, I do one wound. I don't even get the rest of the shots. I just get one wound <laughs> So he dies, and I realized that was a mistake. Yeah, it's, uh, he's down to one. He's not a threat. Anybody else he charged, he would have died. Um, and now I don't take the giant, uh, and I don't take his 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 magic. That's been a pain in my butt. Um, ah, that was a mistake. Okay, so anyhow. Um, combat over here, I win. He flees super far, and I just crawl. And now I'm hoping that I'm out of. Uh, these guys are like this. I'm hoping I'm out of their their arc range because he's like this, and I'm not. And now I'm screwed. Uh, I didn't pivot, so he's going to hit me with a flank charge. And this game, this game is just so frustrating. Um, actually, he was turning around here because he was thinking he was going to need to, ch to charge, so he doesn't have a charge. All right, so top of his turn four, he declares a charge in here. Oh, and he had um, reformed over here. Where are they? He had reformed like this. He gets his general, in, um, see his giant in here. Um, he 
it turns this guy around moves over here to get out of my arc range he rallies damn it <sighs> nah. he rallies uh, he charges over here. Actually, I'm out of order. He charges a flank. Um, if I flee, I, I can't flee because, again, I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to go through this unit here. Uh, yeah. And so, um, yeah, it's like that. And then he moves this, this guy away. Kind of pivots like that. Turns around like this. Moves this guy up like this. this. Um, so over here I break and he pursues both of these guys off of the table over here I lose combat uh, and I and I failed the, my leadership so I can't reform so I'm stuck on the flank And he moves this guy over here like this. Actually, he does this here like this. So I, for my movement, I move over here. Um, <clears throat> shooting at, at, and then uh, for then this guy. Uh, I pivot I pivot these guys around oops pivot these guys around and um, kind of go here just to make sure I get a flank charge and I want to stay out of his arc range uh, yeah. These guys were over here like this. Yeah. I move over here like this. And um, I, that, that's it for my movement. I shoot into Mammoth Hunter, don't do any damage. I really should have focused my shooting in here. Um, but I started to realize that this guy is, is just too, he's too tr strategic with him. I'm trying to get him at, to wound him down, but I just can't. Um, and actually, yeah, so actually he moved this guy. That was it. Um, 
I again I'm stuck over here the idea is yeah I move over here I, sh I, I shoot nothing happens shooting over here is really good I end up doing uh, he already had a wound on him I end up doing um, enough enough wounds to to bring him down to one to one character and that causes a panic test uh, but then in my infinite wisdom he, he he flees this way and I'm like damn it that backfired um, now now he's you know I don't have the mobility he's in my way now uh, just uh, the the way the luck of uh, the way the luck is even flowing it's it's been cat and mouse in this game it seems like sometimes I get good breaks and sometimes I don't uh, so that's where we're at um, oh yeah and then he moves this guy right here in front to shaft me and i realized i missed an opportunity i should have charged um well, actually i had to turn around so i couldn't have charged and so and he takes the opportunity to shaft me here um on the top of his turn five he declares a charge and makes it in and he declares a charge and makes it in um and he casts again the children of umi on these guys and um, the breath weapon on, on um, she didn't know it was that it was Smite the Unbeliever. This guy. So the only on these guys. Um, these guys come back on the board. He, he, um, rallies. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then obviously he turns around and he, um, he breaks these guys, they flee off the table. Uh, and then he turns these guys around, he turns these guys around, and turns this guy around. Oh. It moves out of my rate, my visibility, my arc, and now he's looking super close at my Cyclops. Um, and he moves this guy right here. And so now I can't really get through. I can't really get through him. Uh, and I can't charge. So, yep, yeah, it's like this. Uh, for my turn five, um... Yeah, I don't know. I I realize that he's got um, actually he's like this. He he's got me cornered, and I think my best I you know my best bet is that if I charge here and I could kill him, then I overrun into his into his his um, giant or his. Uh, His goblins so I, I declare a charge uh, you know I got I got a ton of attacks going in he's a base 50 so I have four and he's not a character so he can't issue a challenge so I got four attacks going I got four Cyclops sorry centaurs uh, three actually uh, one is but one's my hero and one's my champion and then I got the rank so I know he's strength five I go drunk I'm gonna be hitting him on threes with the reroll, and I'll be hitting him on um, uh, with strength of five. So I'll be wounding him on four plus. But my general is there, and he has a great weapon, so he'll be hitting on threes with the reroll and wounding on twos. And he has regen, so uh, that's that's the downside. And I completely with it. 
I needed I needed uh, three wounds and I get two off. Unbelievable. And so now I'm stuck, and I know what's what's gonna happen. Um, yeah, actually he was turned this way, and so he declared his charges. He comes here. I have to hold. He comes here. I have to hold. Um, yeah, so it's like this and like this. And it's like this. And he comes over here like this. And these guys, he just secures the middle here. I should, yeah, it's like this. I end up killing his his kin eater. Um, I get him. I whiff really bad, and instead of um, I think I only do one more wound to him. Oh no, uh, I bring him down to seven wounds. Uh, but I flee and he does some massive damage to me. I actually flee. I only have at this point um, One rank left uh, So let me, let me see let me get closer so I'm here So I flee like this. Um, he, he, um, yeah, there you go. So on my, okay, so that's his turn five. Um, I'm, on my turn, I rally. I turn around and just get ready and he declares a charge and I have to hold. I stand and shoot actually. Nothing. I just need one wound at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, that was. Yeah, I just need one wound. Just one wound. <sighs> and I don't get it off. Okay, so then he comes over here. He actually whiffs it with me. And uh, but he does he does um, do one so I'm, we're down to here and uh, all I have to do, I've lost combat all I have to do is um, is do one wound I got my hero because he has great weapon he went last and um, I whiff it. Not a single wound. I'm hitting him on twos. And I'm wounding him on twos. And I do zero wounds. Oh, God. This game is so frustrating. And um, I flee. And he runs me down and kills my unit. Um... Yeah, so at that point, it's it's my turn six. And um, I, I tell him, I'm not going to do anything. I'm, I'm going to avoid you. Uh, let's, let's just call it a game here. And so we call it a game. Um, yep. So the final score was 19-12. Um, uh, and um, a complete victory. Uh, I mean, it was pretty close 
throughout the game. I think he played really well, positioning was really well. Um, I just had, you know, I hate to say it, I, I made mistakes that caused me the game. Losing my general, I'm sorry, losing my wizard on the first turn really changed the dynamic of the game. It, it really made my magic weak and it allowed him to just run rampant with his magic and control the magic phase. Um, the other mistake that I made is during deployment. Um, let me see if I could bring it up real quick. Uh, I realized that um, this is unique to this army. It's not a general comment against um, most strategy, but um, I, I'm a I'm a leadership aide across the board. And so I really don't need my general for, for the leadership. Uh, what I really need is the BSB for, for the rerolls. Because uh, I have eight across here. I think, um, yeah, I think the Raiders are the only ones that have a leadership of six. Everything else has an eight. And so having my general close by doesn't help. I don't have a, uh, I don't have, you know, a higher leadership than. So the, the mistake really was. Um, just not having my my bsb in the center and i've lost i lost um some rerolls because of it this this i would not this one played in my advantage uh having them flee off the tabletop and being able to charge but then when i failed the break test i only failed by i only lost by one combat round so having the reroll would have allowed me to sit to reroll my break test and i would have stuck and then it would have been a different story. So uh, there was three critical mistakes that I made in this game. And that really set the tempo for it. And, and yeah, the dice roll was but to his advantage. But if I didn't make the mistakes, if I if I had my my um, my hero in, in this unit, and he would not have been dead. Um, if I didn't move him up, I wouldn't have to worry about the counter charge. I could have just had him right here and and kind of zoned it he would not have been so aggressive in the center yeah yeah um but it was a good game very fun game uh this game took a long time to to play because we had so many small units and because every single movement was precise we took a very long time unfortunately but yeah it was a great game if you made it to the end of the of this battle report thank you so much for listening i plan to have a few more battle reports and some other creative contents along the way so uh stay tuned for more content soon thank you this is Cole Moore signing out